All of us go. Fifteen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Nemo me impun la sacite. You know, it's written on the bands that you, each of us are wearing today over our badges. And it happens when one of our brothers and sisters is killed in the line of duty. It means you may not harm me with impunity. It's a statement that demands justice, but it means so much more than that. It's a reminder that those who wear this badge are family, linked together by a common calling, which is to serve each other. When one of us is killed in the line of duty, we mourn our loss, but we also honor their sacrifice by forging forward and holding the thin blue line. So rest in peace, brothers. You were gone, but you will never be forgotten. Today we honor three of our fallen brothers who wore the exact same uniform that we are wearing today. Jerry Foster. You know, if one was to look through Jerry's personnel file, it would be very glaring the truth about the kind of man he was. Captain Foster had a sincere calling to help others. Letter after grateful letter were in that personnel file. It was from people who he personally helped. While working to protect an accident scene from oncoming traffic, Captain Foster was struck by a motorist who attempted to drive around the other stopped vehicles. Captain Foster was transported to Bentob Hospital where he fought for his life for three days before he succumb succumbed to his injuries. Captain Foster had been employed with the Harris County Constable's office for 23 years. Just to look at y'all and I see Jerry's face and smile and eyes and each and every one of you. He loved this family. This was his family. The constable said a lot of things that I was going to say, but I just want y'all to know that He's up there and he's protecting you each and every moment of the day because he loves you. We'd also like to remember Jason Patrick Norling. And on the morning of October 1st, 2007, Jason was working a traffic and was working traffic enforcement on the West Park toll road as he had done numerous mornings before. While standing at the window of a vehicle that he had stopped, Jason was struck by a passing SUV. He was transported to Memorial Hermann Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. Mark Christopher Brown. Most of us here know Mark. And uh, Mark was born on December 5th, 1966, and he grew up in Spring Branch, Texas. He lived in Spring Branch his entire life. Being a native Houstonian, he grew up with a passion for baseball and he played at almost every level. Baseball was not, however, his only passion. Mark was driven by many other things. Mainly, he wanted to be in law enforcement, and he had the heart to do so, the heart of a servant. It was no surprise that he chose to study criminal justice at Dallas University after graduating, and he became the beginning of his 23-year-long career in law enforcement. Despite precautions that were taken, Mark contracted COVID-19 and was hospitalized. And every day throughout his sickness, the new complications arose, but Mark continued to fight. Mark had made a promise to his wife, Michelle, and he would repeat it every day before he left for work. He would tell her that, if I ever do not come back home, I want you to know that I fought like crazy to get here. Mark fought with everything that he had against each and every new complication that faced him day after day. But on July 25th, 2020, Mark succumbed to COVID-19 virus. So as we conclude our <clears throat> ceremony today, there is so much more we can say about each and every one of these men, and there's so much more we could say about the type of people that risk their lives every day across this great country to make it the country that it is. But I truly believe that each and every one of you are here today for one reason, and that is because you feel that you are called to make a difference in the community in which you serve. 
I think that's one thing that we all share in common. Lord knows we don't do it for the pay. We don't do it for the shifts. We don't do it for the recognition. We do it because we can make a difference. And I think that those values hold true to Precinct 5, and those values also hold true to the three gentlemen that we spoke about today. Oh, the land of the free and the home of the...